Question number 66, we have a circuit diagram with two light bulbs in it. I've represented them with resistors because it's just a light bulb is a specific type of resistor. And we have a switch here and a power supply. And the question is what happens to the brightness of these light bulbs when the switch is closed? The key here to remember is that all wires and switches in this class are considered to be ideal. That is, they have zero resistance. So when the switch is closed, all of these charges that are flowing are no longer going to go, going to go through this light bulb too because they can go through the switch without any resistance at all. So light bulb two is going to go out because all the current is going to go through switch, go through the switch. We have essentially shorted out light bulb two. Now, what happens to light bulb number one? Again, when we close the switch, none of these charges are going to go through resistor two. They're going to go through the switch instead, which is going to decrease the equivalent resistance of the circuit, which is going to increase the current going through the circuit because the potential difference across the battery is the same. Because the electric potential difference equals the current times the resistance, the electric potential difference across the battery remains the same. The equivalent resistance of the circuit went down. Therefore, the current through the circuit is going to go up. We now know the current through light bulb one goes up. We need to talk about the brightness of light bulb one, which is the power output of light bulb one. There are three different equations for electrical power. The one we're gonna use this time is power equals current squared times resistance. We know the current through light bulb one increases. The resistance of light bulb one is not going to change. Therefore, the power output of light bulb one is going to go up. Light bulb one will burn brighter. The correct answer is B.